let's look at chapter two, section three. And I give everybody, I have to give you, I have to make one for you. Actually, let me see if you can even buy it. Chapter two, section three. I had one extra one. This one deals with other set operations. The first one we get is Sets can intersect, which means they can overlap, which is what that one says. The intersection of two sets A and B written as A intersect B is a set of all set is a set of all elements common to both A and B. When you drive your car, what what is that called on a road when you get that kind of junction? It's an intersection. It's where this road and this road share the same concrete. And that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at where two sets overlap. This could be set A. This could be set B. This is where they overlap. Now, that's what this one says. And in set notation and in, in diagrams, we look at this. Here's set A, here's set B, and there's the intersection. Set intersection. Disjoint sets is where they have nothing in common. Let's look at this. Let's call this one C, where they overlap. So we can say set A intersects set B equals the elements of set C. That's one way you can look at it. Set A intersect B equals an empty set. In other words, northbound road, southbound road. Do they overlap? No. So example 14 on your sheet. Find A intersect B for each of the following. Again, you have these on your sheets in front of you. This is A. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six. So A mm -hmm. intersect B is equal to what? Where do they overlap? Three and four. Mm -hmm.
A are all the evens, including zero. B are all the odds. Where they overlap? Just the empty set, or you can write just the empty set. Yeah, because this one's all evens, this one's all odds. They have nothing in common, so it's an empty set. Set A. The set of all even integers are natural numbers. Set B are the natural numbers. Where do they overlap? They exempt at, at two, four, six, eight. So they overlap on A. So far, so good. Okay, the opposite, not really opposite, of, remember, this symbol there means intersection or overlap. The U stands for union. Two or more sets. So, as it defines here, the union of two sets written as A union B. is the set of all elements in A, or yeah, in A, in B, but only written once if in both A and B. Actually, yeah, here, I should put the word or in here because the, the union symbol is in logic, it's the or operation. Think about it. It's either going to be in here or it's in here. The intersection is the and. In order for the intersection to work, it has to be in A and it has to be in B. So whenever you see those words and statements, you know whether it's an intersection or a union they're looking for. Let's see. Example 15. Find A union B. One, two, three, four.
three, four, five, six. So A union B is this. It's all the elements in A. All the elements in B. But if it's duplicated, you erase the duplicate. Like I said, it's all the elements in A, all the elements in B, and anything that's the same, you only write it once. So the final answer is one, two, three, four, five, six. The formal definition of the union symbol is A union B is where A and B are the same minus way so because when you list all of a you list all of b and remove one of their overlappings that's what we just did there there's all of a there's all of b and remove what they overlap that's the formal definition but we'll just use the mickey mouse word b a is zero, two, four, six, all the even numbers. B is all the odd numbers. So A union B is what? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, which becomes all the whole numbers. A is all of the even numbers. B are all the natural numbers. A union B would be what? And you know, keep going to infinity. So, it would be counting. And that's exactly what that's defining. <laughs> the reason I couldn't do it over here is because this set is only the counting numbers, not the whole numbers. We had that zero to take care of. So that's why we had to first list them all. And say, like I said, all the whole numbers. And this one is A union B. All of these and all of these is all of these. All right. Example 16.
A is equal to A, B, C. A, So, A says A intersect the empty set. What does that one mean equal? Right. That's the only thing they have in common. A union the empty set. Yeah, it would simply be A, B, C, and the empty and the empty set. Because you can't put zero inside there. Well, yeah, I guess you can, since we're listing. No, that still that looks really weird. That's what that's what we're supposed to end up with. That looks really weird. Zero, empty set, intersect, empty set. In other words, if nothing, where does nothing intersect nothing? Nowhere. <laughs> Union. Empty set. Hmm. We have a we have five more to go through, and these are the ones who we require more examples. So we'll just pick up here next time. We'll finish up this chapter. And this will be the end of chapter two. And you get ready to take your test there. So we'll have a short class next time. Finish up this chapter. Once you finish this, that chapter two is done. Any questions? <laughs>